Okay, so the general apparatus is we have a vibration generator here, which is bouncing up and down. A signal generator, so we've got the frequency at which this is doing it. And we have set up on this elasticated cord some standing waves. So you can see a part here that's an antinode. This part is a node. Antinode, and you can count off that the number of waves that are fitting on the entire string. We can also change the tension in the string by adding masses to the hanger. I can find the wavelength of the wave by measuring the length of the piece of string, or the, the rubber cord in this case. So it is that's one meter. Okay. One meter and 38 centimeters, right? I've got a one meter, 38 centimeters, and I've got on this, each node, this little chunk is half a wave, so that's one full wave, another full wave, that's two full waves, another full wave, and a half. So it's uh, one full wave, two full wave, three full waves, and a half. We've got three and a half waves. So if this is 1.38 meters long, I can divide it by 3.5 to get the length of one single wave. So one, three, eight, divided by 3.5 gets me 39.4 centimeters, right? Or 0.39 meters. I know the frequency at which this wave is being generated. If I know the frequency and I know the wavelength, I can calculate the velocity. So V equals F lambda, and subbing the numbers in, I've got 23.9 hertz multiplied by, now I could keep the number in centimeters and I'll get my answer in centimeters per second. So multiplied by 39.4. And I'm getting a velocity for this wave of 942 uh, centimeters per second, which is 9.42 meters per second. So 9.42 meters per second. Right. If I change the tension in the string by adding another mass, by adding another mass, then I'll get a different velocity. Okay, so I've added another mass. I'm going to fiddle with the frequency until I get another standing waveform. Okay, right, so I've produced here, but I can see quite a clear standing wave. Okay, so a clear standing wave. This is one full wave. Another full wave, so two, three, and now we're fitting four complete waves on the string. So again, the wavelength will be calculated by 138 divided by four, that's the wavelength, and then multiply that by the new frequency, okay? So 138 divided by four, 138 divided by four gives me the wavelength, which is 34.5 centimeters. Multiply that by the frequency, which in this case is 38.7, and I'm getting 1,335 centimeters per second, or 13.35 uh, 13 meters per second. So we can see, as the tension in the string has increased, the speed of the wave on the string has also increased.